right? Like, R.J. Davis, I like him a lot, but it's got to be Caleb Love. I think that's, that, that's what I came up with. I think it's like North Carolina. And I will say the final. Today is Saturday now, so I've been in Colorado for about five days. Uh, I'm going to go hiking for the third time now. I've got a couple hikes planned today. I don't know how many of them I'll actually do, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm still waiting for my car to defrost a little bit, so it's a good time to sit down and have a little, little friendly chat with you folks. We've got an important announcement that I am going to be releasing a documentary. Yesterday was Friday. I got done with work late yesterday, so I wasn't able to get outside unfortunately But I was able to finish up part one of my documentary I don't know yet if I'm gonna release each part of the documentary as I go along or if I'm gonna wait for the entire story to finish up and then start releasing them. It's absolutely riveting. I I have to say so myself. It's it's going to be one of the all-time greatest documentaries. I would not be surprised if I won many, many national awards for it. So keep your eyes open for that. But right now we're going to head out and we're going to hopefully do some hiking. And we're off. First hike of the day. It's about 9.30 or so in the morning. It's about 20 degrees right now, but it's supposed to get up to low 40s today. So it's going to be really nice. This is less than a quarter of a mile in. I'm only about 30 minutes in and I already regret wearing as many layers as I did. I already ripped off my hat, took my gloves off, regret wearing my winter coat, I should have worn my spring coat. Oh, but on the bright side, my hair is looking phenomenal. As per usual, what can you do? I feel like Bear Grylls right now, setting the camera down, taking a few steps back, walking forward, turning around, grabbing the camera, walking forward again. But the only difference between me and Bear Grylls is that he's a fraud and I'm not. We all know he's got a camera crew with him. He's not fooling us. Guys, one of the biggest frauds on TV makes me sick. See, I do my own camera work. Because my film crew left me, my cameraman left me. A little spoiler for the documentary I'm working on. Camera crew left me pretty early on. It's it's a really dramatic scene. It's a spoiler. You probably really, really want to watch the documentary right now, don't you? Well, too bad. You're just gonna have to wait. It's not ready yet. I'll let you know when the release date's gonna be. Much like on Thursday, I had multiple hikes planned for today. I had three of them on the list. It's currently a little before one o'clock. I am only halfway through my first one. Uh, so we're not off to a great start, but I've been up here for a little over an hour already. And as you can see, it's gorgeous. I can't really get myself to physically get up and walk back down because this is awesome. It's been a great day so far. Got up at about eight o'clock. Made some breakfast, hung out at the apartment for just a little bit, then came up here, hung out in nature, hiked, only saw a couple people. Lots of nature, very few people. It's a perfect day for Jason Mathis. Right over there is the Lake Dillon, or Dillon Reservoir, whatever you want to call it. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen a picture of that quite a few times already. And then down here, where's my finger? There we go. 
the town down here, that's Silverthorne, which is where I live. It's a town of about, I think about 5,000 people or so, but it's crazy. I, I have this app called All Trails that I use to find hiking trails. And back home, within 30 miles of home, there's like four listed trails on there. It's basically High Cliff and then uh, Ledgeview and Chilton, and I think there's like one trail listed down by Elkhart Lake. Um, but here, within 30 miles of Silverthorne, there are hundreds of trails listed. It's crazy. I'm starting to put together a little notebook um, of basically a hiking bucket list. I'll never get to all the ones I want to, but I'm going to try to do as best I can. I suppose can't stay up here forever. <sighs> Time to pack up. That's gonna be it for me today. Um, that was an awesome trail, an awesome four and a half miles or 4.6 miles. It was actually a little bit more for me because I kept doing my bear grills, walking back and forth between the camera thing. Because I'm a, I'm a professional with my own cameras and, and no camera crew, as I mentioned before. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, and hopefully I'll be back out tomorrow to venture around some more trails.